Often when you use Illustrator's standard drawing tools, like the rectangle tool, you end up with shapes that are fairly rigid in their structure and don't have a, a hand-drawn or an organic look or feel to them. A great way to modify these shapes, to give them more of an organic look, is with the warp tools. Uh, there are a number of different warp tools, but we will start with the standard warp tool, which is available using the Shift-R keyboard shortcut. Using this tool, you can kind of just push around the segments and the points of your object. This can kind of give it more of a rough look and feel if that's what you want to go for. Now Illustrator, as you use this tool, will add in points and divide segments as needed to kind of create the look and shape that you want to come away with. There are a number of options that you can control with the warp tool by double clicking on the icon in the tools palette. These options include the ability to change the size of the brush, to change the angle of the brush, and to change its intensity. Using these options, you can get a brush that suits the exact type of style that you want to work with. The other options at the bottom let you change the detail and the amount of simplification that happens as you use the warp tool. And there's also an option to show the brush size, which is helpful in letting you see the size of the brush that you're dealing with. You can also change the brush size by holding down the Alt key or the Option key on Mac while dragging. 